when I was younger, I was very Zalulu, so I thought like care home manager. Like, you just heard manager. I heard, man I heard manager. <laughs> Welcome back. Girls, welcome back. Um, we've got a guest in the building today. Mm, I'm gonna ask you- We're, we're angled, so yeah, it's we're a bit angled. different. Yeah, we're angled. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna ask this guest not to speak until I, I allow us to speak, mm. okay? Don't allow speak, them to speak. Yeah, don't speak until spoken to. Yeah, 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 yeah. do as you're told, bruv. Facts. Keep quiet. Yeah, be a good girl and keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so oh. guys, right, so we have a very, very, very special guest in the building today. Yes, um, and what I want to say about this person mm. is that this person, funnily enough, actually, and I actually mean this genuinely, yeah. I'm not going to say this for other guests yeah, yeah, because yeah. this one I mean genuinely. Okay. In the podcasting space, yeah. I don't know if she'll take this wrong way or not, her fame mm -hmm. and her like size of show and stuff like that mm -hmm. is not uh, reflective of her talent. Mm. In Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 this, yeah, yeah. This person de uh, deserves to have like at least a million subs on YouTube at, at the minute. Facts. And I <clears throat> clocked, hard working. Yeah, I clocked her TikTok mm. like last year, early summertime. Okay. Probably, uh, yeah, like May, June last year. Okay. And I remember thinking, this girl's actually good. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah, a, cri yeah. I critique, critique. Yeah, podcast. Yeah, I know. I critique. <clears throat> and I was like, okay, sound. This girl's mm. actually decent. Mm. Um. I think she's actually gonna do well. And I remember um, seeing Spotify did a post on Instagram, they did a poll or whatever. Yeah. And was like, what's the best UK podcast? Yeah. And the only reason I saw it is because someone obviously tagged us in it. Okay. And I was like, oh, I wanna see what people are saying. Yeah. And then I, I'm not gonna bait it out yet, but it was just CNT, 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 mm. CNT. And I was like, and you had the, like, the obvious ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was yeah, like, CNT, yeah. CNT. And I was like, what even is that? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then I clicked on it and I was like, raw. Oh, it makes sense. It's the same one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. this bitch again, bro. <laughs> and I was like, raw, okay, she's doing stuff. Yeah. Um, and then I remember uh, Spotify invited us to like a little Fort Park day out. Oh, yeah. 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 And this girl was drunk off her. Oh, from the jump. She, she lost the phone, From though. early, yeah, yeah, yeah. She lost the phone, lost yeah, the phone yeah, from yeah, jump. Yeah, from yeah. early. Cracked. She, yeah. was, she, she was drunk off her yeah. nut. Um, and I think that, we were wearing the same tee, the same top as well, the same brand. I remember. Yeah. We were wearing the same brand. Yeah, I yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a little bob ting. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but anyway, that was the first day we actually met her in person. Yeah. And ever since that day, um, she has been nothing but like very, very, very lovely to us. Supportive. Very supportive. Yeah. Um, and just like what I said, friendly, to, friendly, yeah, yeah. And just yeah. like what I mentioned for Taser when Taser was on the show, yeah. is like one of the very few people that I would consider an actual friend, friend in this space, and not just an industry fact, friend, fact, fact, uh, fact, someone who fact. actually looks out for us and cares fact, about us, yeah. um, and doesn't just chat to us because we're in the same space at the facts, same time. Facts. Um, so without any further ado. Further ado, that is how you say it. Yeah, that is how you say it. Yeah, it sounded weird coming out of my mouth. Because you never said yeah, it. Yeah, I've never said it. Without any further ado, please welcome Madam Joyce, guys. Yay! Yay! How you feeling? How oh you feeling? Oh my God, what an intro. Let's I feel go. like I want to sing to you. <laughs> can I sing to you? You can sing, it's your show. I'm colder in a Coachella, and I love you more than my life. <laughs> and I love you, baby. Look up and down, I love you guys. Oh my God. That's so that lit. was cute. Thank you Thanks, very much. Guys. That was jokes. Hi guys. Hi. What are you How are you? I'm amazing. Yeah. I'm happy to be here. Not gonna yeah. lie, I am sincerely, sincerely very gassed to be here. You love swear. And I don't know why. I'm just so excited <laughs> to be here. Yes, Carl Baby Pro. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> That's <laughs> banging. Um, that is banging. So right, what we do when we have guests on, as it's very yeah. rare, we like to break the ice. Not that we really need to break the ice. So we've actually won pretty easy on Facts. you. Facts. But we like to break the ice with guests and we have a little roast. So we yes. ask the internet to roast Madam Joyce. Yeah. And um, Fuga's gonna run a couple bars and, and see see Sorry. what they have to say, okay? Sorry. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Me, I roast back. Yeah. <laughs> you roast back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say you do. Less. So we got a couple. We just got a couple, some. in it? He's gonna read some as well. Okay. Right? Yeah. All right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> say less. <laughs> she looks like an exotic cricket. <laughs> That one, fam, what does that even mean? Fam, bro? I don't know. I read that it. That one doesn't even make sense. sense. It doesn't make sense because the cricket is quite slim okay, and I'm quite for, thick. For context, I used a picture. Let me show you. I used a picture. Um, you were wearing a dress. Yes. Um, um, Brit Awards. Was it the Brit Awards the one? The Brit Awards, yes. Um, just for context, let me pull it up. But he said exotic though. 
This exotic is cute. No, I'm exotic to see oh, is Sorry, yeah, I'm trying to find this one. It was this picture, but this it was this exact picture. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, see, I, see, I see, I see, I see, I see it with the wings. Oh, I, I see it. Yeah. Do you know what? I feel like my neck looks a lot longer than <laughs> usual, so I my hear it. My neck looks a lot longer. <laughs> All right, gang, that's a cute picture. Well, as well. exotic, that is a nice so Oh, right, nice picture. All right, what's the next one? Uh, the next one is, <sighs> she looks like the sort of person to eat spaghetti and have it hanging out of her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Raw. <coughs> Do you know what? I am that person. I am that person. Do you, you know are. what? E- eating spaghetti is a very embarrassing thing. It's tasking. Because it's very tasking because yeah. if you don't spin it properly, mm. then it does dangle a yeah, bit and it's just yeah, not yeah. part of the estate. Mine, but yeah. I, I do like a young tongue wrap around the thing. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, what? yeah. So if, if, so I spin it, but yeah. like the, it's not always enveloped around the fork. So the bits that's dangle are like, let's say this fork, I'm like, you couldn't. I promise you. I dangle. Yeah. Okay. I dangle yeah, no yeah, etiquette. Yeah. Who has said my tongue game is strong? Okay. <laughs> I dangle That's and then, it. yeah. <laughs> That's yuck, bro. I, it, I do it because of my beard. I get food in my beard. Okay, facts. Fair, 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 fair. Okay. You do, to be fair. All the time. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I do it. Yeah. All right, tell us. Um, she looks like she pronounces the K and no. <laughs> I saw that one, it was dread. And you pronounce as well. You do. That's actually you dread do. because you pronounce stuff. <laughs> you you put, add Ds to yeah, everything. I'm just about to say you add yes. Ds to everything. Consonants for days. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know her, but she looks evil. Oh no! What villainous things? Yeah. What they're saying. Do you know what? I do have a bit of a villainous side, but I would like to become a jolly nice person. Do you think you got a resting bitch face? That's the problem. Mm. I have a very resting bitch face. Yeah. And I feel like until people speak to me, I'm yeah. just in my zone. Like I'm the type of person where if people see me on road, they'll be like, "Joyce, are you alright? Are you alright?" And mm. I'm like, "Yes, I'm good. I'm just living in the moment." It's oh, like okay. people want me to go around and be like. Oh. Yeah, like, that's yeah, just yeah, not my. Yeah. It's that's not my you. aesthetic. Yeah. Okay. So I'm okay. sorry I look evil, but I will. I would like to think I'm. I'm. I'm an okay person. All right, say less. Now nah, you're cool. To be fair, that same Thought Park day. Yeah, I was thinking. Mm. Do you know what's mm. so funny? Like you mentioned that. Yeah, 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 you yeah. mentioned that, and we did. I'm one of those people. I'm not. I don't speak unless I'm spoken to. Yeah, same so here. To be fair, we can be fair, in the fair, same fair, vicinity fair, for fair. the whole day, and yeah. I will not talk to you. Yeah. But that's only because you did not talk to me. And call it petty, call it whatever. But that's just my aesthetic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the minute you talk to me. Oh my god! I'm outside. Hey, friend, bestie. Yeah, that's literally me. I don't. Yeah. I don't talk to anyone. No, yeah, I don't talk yeah. to anyone either. Fair enough. All right, I've got a couple more roasts here. Yeah? These roasts are not banging. Is this what the cold babies had to offer? To Swear? Do you want to, <laughs> Joyce? I'm not going to lie to you. We had to. I had to yeah. on a private thing. I sent a message Jimmy a couple of days before and say, listen, <laughs> I don't know how Joyce is going to handle some of these. So some we dumbed them down. Spaghetti. Is that all you have to offer? Give me the real stuff, man. Fuck it up. Are you sure? Yeah. Go all on. All right. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Come to give me some spi- <laughs> sell it, sell it, I know, like I spaghetti. Yeah. I can cook it. Let me go to my. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. That's oh. actually calm. All right. I'm like, okay. Go. I'm sure everybody's listening and thinking, I'm sure you guys could do better. All right, go, All go. Right. She looks like a mix between Chris Rock and Wendy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that one spun me, bro. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy Williams is murdered. <laughs> <Can I? laughs> no offense, bro. Wendy Williams is murdered. <laughs> Oh, wow. <coughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? Big up Wendy Williams. That's, <laughs> honestly, like, she, she actually really inspires me. So funny enough, for someone to say that I look like her is hilarious. That's gang. That's, that's hilarious. I mean, I, I hope it's Wendy Williams before, not Wendy nah, Williams now. I think it's now. 2023. It could be no, 2023. Could, listen, if it's 2023, Wendy Williams, you can suck your mum. <laughs> You're a dickhead, bro. You're a dickhead. I've got one from from here. All right, here we yeah. go. <laughs> from memory. Can I from just, memory. Guys, can I just say something? They, they dumped it down because they thought I couldn't handle it, but they stored it in their hearts to laugh about no, it. No, 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 It was one up. that it was like, um, <laughs> it was a That's a Raven moment where I saw it and then it, the whole camera just panned into my eyes <laughs> and it burned in my brain. I was like, rah, scrap that one. What was uh, this? <laughs> this one said, <laughs> <laughs> this one said, I can't even look. Hang on. <coughs> I can't even look. This one said, <laughs> lips so big she can whisper in her own ear. 
That spun me, hey, bro. That spun when me. When you sent me that one, I was <laughs> like, bro. We had to dumb the whole thing down for you, Joyce. I'm Does not it? gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, babe. You know what? I'm still not. That's not that's that bad, the, to be that, fair. That's, that's not that bad. Nah. That's <sighs> not that bad because, sir, if I start whispering it in your ear with these big ass lips, what you gonna do? Oh, no, nah, obviously, <laughs> the, the tip is gonna. <laughs> it's gonna, yeah, the tip <laughs> is sensi. gonna backflip. Don't, yeah. don't be naughty. <laughs> <laughs> don't be naughty. That's <laughs> Now I'm sweating, bro. <laughs> Same. All right, I got a couple more. Give it to me. Um. Because of those lashes, I can't tell if she's squinting hard or trying to fart quietly. Do you know what, cult babies? I mean, if listen, I know you haven't had that many guests, but if you're gonna roast someone, roast you, ro- them. you really want the roast? Give it to me. Swear. Damn, I-, I saw someone say she's built like a deep breath. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, Joyce. <laughs> oh. Okay, Let, let's move on, let's, bro. Let's, 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 let's move on. Let's. I'm sweating. Wow. I'm sweating and prickling. Do you wow. know what? You, did, you guys did your best. They did their best. All right, fair play, fair play, they fair play, fair play, fair play. They did their best. Oh. Welcome to the show, Joyce. Welcome. Thank you for Madam having me. Madam Joyce, thank Welcome you, to darling. What, what do they call that thing where like the initiation, is that like, you yeah, have to go that's through like the, the humiliation like first? That's okay. the CB yeah, initiation. Yeah. Big up all cult the, baby. <laughs> big up all the cult babies and that exactly. doing, doing their best. To be fair, yeah, we get worse than that on a, on a day. Yeah, so it's mine. I love that. It's mine. What did they call you the other day, Ellis? The yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> someone called him a dyslexic fuck. That's, Cold, bro. You guys do it like that. And that's not even a roast thing. That's yeah, just, that, that was just a Monday. <laughs> that was just like <laughs> that was just a Monday. Concern. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Oh, bro. Um. Crazy anyway, <clears throat> so oh, I'm sweating. Jesus Christ. What we like? To, <laughs> what we want to do now, yeah? <clears throat> and this is actually, I'm gassed about this yeah. because as much as I feel like we know you, mm. I know bits and bobs about your like actual life. Uh huh. And we want to know, like, this is the segment we want to do, like, called Origin Story, yeah? Yeah. So, like, <clears throat> let's just paint a picture of what, like, school Joyce or growing up Joyce, how you turned into Madam Joyce, Madam okay? Joyce. Okay. Yeah. yeah? So this is your yeah. turn. This to is your turn. So, like, for example, right. So I knew... Swear, Rems drapes the archives. You're I didn't so even fucking fake. Oh, wow! I, I promise you, I promise you, I didn't sign off on this, Joyce. I promise you, I didn't sign off. Wow. On this is it. Rems research. This is the research. Wow! Wow! See the wig, God. God, what year is that? This is year seven, so Mad. I must have been like thirteen here. Can I tell you a story? Yeah, go, you yeah, see go this? on. I'm not sure. I don't think I mentioned this on my. Life. I did. So basically, this particular wig that I'm wearing, yeah, I had to wear it because it was back in the day where Rihanna had the side cut. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nah, yes. nah. Yes. What's my name? Yeah, Rihanna. Yeah, 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 yeah. She had the side cut, and all the girls were going crazy, and we was shaving the sides of her hair and shaving the backs. Mm. Now I decided to take my mom's clippers, yeah and shave it but you know obviously man them that do it you have to have different levels in it yeah, and i didn't yeah. know that so obviously use the raw thing. i use the raw oh, thing oh bruv that's I skin did, i use the raw thing one all over yeah so oh. i just i just literally shaved the side so and then it was patches so what i would do is i would use mascara to cover the pat the bald parts in it so anyways i would go to school like that and one day i went to school like that and my mom came home and she saw me but usually when my mom is annoyed, she'd be like on the rah, what are you doing? But mm. she was really like calm. So I said, listen, Rihanna, she must like this shit. Yeah. Like, this is a style. So she was like, oh, Joyce, let me come and help you. Um, Joyce San, so my, my full name is Joyce San. So it's like, Joyce, I let me come and help you. Never would have guessed that. Yeah, cause let me come and help you. Just pat, just sort it out, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. My mom took the clipper and I said, okay, mama, I sat down. My mom went like this. Zzz, oh, And she, Lord. she literally shaved the whole thing. Oh. So. It was too late because I couldn't, you can't carry Rihanna, but yeah, shaved yeah, in the middle. Yeah, so yeah, she had yeah. to cut the whole thing. So Damn. I was bold. Now, this is the wig that my mommy bought for me. 
to cover the fact that I was bald. But it's a synthetic wig. And I swear to God, I had that one synthetic wig for like seven months. So Jeez. that's why it's standing on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you see how there's no moving. Yeah. It's not moving. It's just like- Standing on my shoulder. It's just shoulder. standing on my head. Yeah, yeah. And funny enough, just, I was, just as I was leaving this school, cause I was really severely bullied. So I was okay. bullied at school. I had I was year seven. So my acne flare came up really early. So I was oh, like okay. 13 Same. years old yeah. with like, Acne. Oh, Some man. motherfucker, his name is Wesley and he's in jail, so fuck you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you in it. He's yeah. in jail, so he can't really hear that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like to me, yeah. I have more spots than I have friends. Oh. If you fucking laugh. Oh. I'm not laughing. I'm not actually not laughing. This is not talking to you, bro. I had to hold my breath. Oh. <laughs> you have more spots than friends. Yeah, he's gonna have more spots than friends, That's yeah. Oh, and you're seven. Yeah, hey, who's yeah. thinking? Yeah, who's, <laughs> like who's, yeah, who's off the dome? So I was like, so he used to proper bully me. He's in jail now, so fuck him. But yeah, anyways, on the last day of school, yeah, I was basically moving, I was moving schools in it because I moved to Bedford. This is yeah. in Luton. Okay. And um, the boys had basically- You went to school in Luton? Yeah, I went to school. I, I've been around, you know. I went to school in Luton. Which one? I went to, uh, not that one. I went to Stopsley. Okay, I was in Ignald. That's Ignald. Ign that's Ignald, yeah. Rah, right, my ex went to Ignald. Is she a bad B? Yeah, she right. Is she my age? Nah, she's older you know you're than a bit you. old. She's like it two, how old are you? 25. Oh yeah, she's a couple years older than you. Damn. She would actually, no, to be fair, she would have been in year 11 when you was in year seven. Okay, so I didn't know the year 11. She must, she, I don't know, she <clears throat> may be past me. She, yeah, she might have been dashing rubbers at you and all sorts. Yeah, yeah trust if you got me, bullied that bad. Yeah, seriously, she's light skinned as well, so. Yeah, double, yeah. double, <laughs> double, double. Yeah. Anyways, the last day of school, the boys, everyone found out I had a wig on because the, my friends told everybody that I had a wig. That's true. Yeah. I know, villainous bitches. Mm. Yeah, so on the last day of school, the man then were planning to pull off my wig nah, in front of everyone. Bro. I know, so bad. But thank God, luckily, my mum picked me up at lunchtime. So after lunch, my mum decided to come and get me oh, to fair. move. So my dignity was intact before I left. But yeah, it was, the bullying was bad. And I feel like, um, my personality stemmed from the fact of, I guess, wanting to make friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it was one of those things where, because I'd moved around a lot, maybe yeah. like 12, 13 different schools, Jesus. I had to really try and be, I was always the new girl. So I had to yeah. really try and make friends and yeah. be friendly and put myself out there. So I think it was just something that I kind of learned in a way to just not be the girl in the playground by herself because yeah. everyone already formed groups. So yeah, first of all, this week is a hot ass mess. But yeah, I feel yeah. like that's where kind of like my kind of, I guess, talking to people and finding it easy to talk to people came from because I have been put in so many different environments whereby I had to meet different people and I had to be adaptable. Okay. So I guess like when people now are like, oh my God, Joyce, like, you know, when I meet you, I feel like I've known you for a long time. Mm. It's just something that I guess I've picked up from constantly being around different it's environments. Not part of your personality. Yeah, and yeah. being thrown into the deep end constantly growing you were born, up. Sorry to cut you off. You were born in Ireland, right? Yeah, sir. So and but you went to school in Bedford, Luton, and where else did you go to school? London. So I London. was in London for a bit. Okay. Um, I grew up in, I was born in Ireland. Yeah. Then I went to London. Then I went to Luton. Then I went back to London. Then I moved to Bedford. Damn. Yeah. Mm. But now you're back in London, obviously. Yeah, now I'm back in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm back in London. <clears throat> but Damn. this is moving around with my mummy and stuff. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah. So, um, what age? Oh, we're hop, skip, and jumping, bro. Mm. What age are we talking like first time picking up a camera? <sighs> oh, God. Do you know what? I'm a bit of a late bloomer. That's I don't know if so I really want to. I don't. Uh... Actually, no, 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 no. Let's trace back. Let's rule back. Jobs. Jobs. Okay. All right, yeah. let's talk jobs, bro. Prior to God. this yeah. that we know. Jobs. <coughs> so my first <coughs> ever job was in River Island as a Christmas temp. Okay. So yeah. I had lied on my CV, obviously 17, no experience, needed money. Yep did whatever it took. So I must have lied on my CV and said I had worked in a couple of places or whatever. So mm. River Island took me on as a Christmas temp and they said I did so well that they ended up taking me on full time. Oh, mad. How old were you? No, not full time, sorry, part time. So oh, I was yeah, like yeah, yeah. 17, 18 here. So okay. that was my first ever job. Obviously we did the cheeky paper round and that, you know. Yeah, 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 but yeah. can I just say paper rounds is actually fucking teeth because <laughs> how are you walking around for four or three hours and they're paying you 20 pounds? Yeah, my little brother had a paper on and my mom was like, are you seeing what a good child looks like? Are you seeing what like, 
<laughs> are you seeing what like entrepreneurship looks like? What, so comparing you to your brother? Yeah, I and she, he was folding papers. Yeah, I and I was that. like, mom, like this yeah, is it's foolish. It's exploitative. Yeah, you off your head. It's exploitative. Yeah, I also labor. have, a, is it younger or older? Younger, he's, he's younger. You see, you see what, you see you have that younger sister, yeah, that your parents always compare you to, that mm. you grow up surprised that you don't hate each other. Yeah, yeah. That's facts. my, me and my younger sister are like that because it's like, every time I do something, Diola will never do that. Mm. And every time Diola did something bad, it would be me. Mm. Oh, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, For yeah. example, recently, my, my little sister got caught vaping. Mad. So this is what you and Joyce are not doing together. <laughs> Joy, oh no. <laughs> I don't even vape. Yeah. <laughs> What is, like, like every time it's something bad, like yeah, it's, you're involved. It's, I'm in yeah, some you're way, influence. I'm the influence. I'm the, the orchestrator yeah. of the badness. It's what you're doing together. <laughs> Trust me. I'm also, like you could imagine. You nah, could imagine. never, never, it's never, never, never. I'll send for my mum. I was like, girl. Anyways, um, I forgot the question. <laughs> uh, jobs, River jobs. Island. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. River Island. Yeah. And then, oh God. So I was a care assistant. Can I just say, big up all the fucking care assistants, yeah. Rem was a care assistant. Rem was a care assistant. Big Someone spat in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> spat yogurt straight in his mouth. Someone spat no, Yakko in his mouth. <laughs> Yakko! <laughs> oh, about that for gut health. Yeah, man was draped the next man's Can I just probiotics. Say, let me tell you the first ever time I did care. So after, after. Huh? Oh, care. care. I thought you said cat. Yeah, I'm the kid. That's a hot skip and a chub. <laughs> so I did River Island. Yeah. Then I did Tesco. Okay. I hated Tesco. So much so on my last day, I yeah. literally trashed the counter. Oh, wow. wow. So I was working at the deli counter where they do the fucking pizzas and the fish. So you yeah. had fish here, yeah. deli here, ham, cheese, yeah, 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 um, yeah. sausage roll, and then you have the pizza on the side. Yeah. I, one day I decided me. I have a, I've had enough. Yeah. I was filled. You know, you know. If you guys do retail, you have these old women that have been there since 1997. Yes. But you come in and they want you to have their 26 years of experience. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like Margaret, be calm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Margaret, calm down. Yeah. And I had a lot of older women in my daddy counter, and they were so nasty to me. So one day I decided to before I left, I trashed the counter. I was throwing ham, throwing sausage roll. <laughs> I took the the piece. I put all the 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 tickets, you know the one that says sausage yeah, roll, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I put it in the barbecue sauce. <laughs> I was fling, I said, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with a bang. Yeah. And I did that and I flung everything. And then I put I, I put my um, resignation on the receipt. I said, I'm going, fuck you, bye. Mad. And they accepted it. You got bollocks, boy. So then after that, I did care. Now, can I just Did you say, get paid for your last shift? Do you remember? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who I'm... motherfucking knows? <laughs> Who knows? But my job after that was, I was a care assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, being a care assistant mm. is so big up all the care assistants because mm. mentally it's fucked. Like I was dealing with people in dementia. And I remember my first ever shift, yeah. I was in the dementia unit. Mm. It's easy, it's an easy job to get. I actually applied to be in the kitchen because of the job I did before at Tesco. And, they were, and the guy was like, why don't you just do care? Like, it's so easy. Just come to the care yeah, side, yeah, yeah. fuck the kitchen. And I said, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first day, walk through the double doors. There's this old man, he's got his head down. He's like, just walk in, confused. Walk in, so I'm like, okay, cool. Oh, old man, cute. <laughs> I looked down, I didn't realize he had his pads in his hand. So he had like his- His pad, pissy pads. His pissy oh, poo poo pad wow. nah. in his hand nah. and he's just doing, and I'm like, okay, cute old man with a pad in his hand. Okay. But the guy was like, literally so like that just zombie thing. Yeah. doing his thing. I kid you not. The guy started, <laughs> the guy started, old man started sprinting and literally catapulted the pad and threw it at me. Nah. <laughs> Did it hit you? <laughs> it hit me. Nah, I'm walking out. Shit. It hit me. Shit. Yeah, nah, shit. No, no. <laughs> Honestly, let me tell you something. If you're a care assistant, you will see poo on your hand. Nah. You will see wee on your hand. You listen. I'll burn, my, I'll burn my skin off. I've I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> I've seen poo in every shade and every color. No, no, Green no, no. poo, yellow poo, pink poo, gray poo. Every color poo, Flipping every co consistency. No, consistency, man. I swear to God, no. care. Hey. There's not enough money you for me for that. Yeah. There's no, not no, enough no. money no, hey, to pay council tax. I don't think it's so. It's crazy. No, 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 no. See, there's people that will spit at you, like especially dementia, they will spit at you. <laughs> especially dementia. <laughs> like dementia, they will spit at you. Even sometimes you're black. How old are you? They'll say, oh, I'm 29. Go, no, you're not. 
Oh, wow. No, I'm 29 years old. Like, girl, you old. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have to play along. You have to play along. I'm not playing guy. along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's long. That's long. You have long. to play along. Where's my mummy? Girl, you's 80. Where'd you think? <laughs> Oh, where's my mummy? Nah. Where's my <laughs> Joyce, I promise that was scary. Yeah, where's, where's my mummy? Where's my mummy? I couldn't be left alone Where? with a human like that. <laughs> I couldn't be left alone with a human. Yeah, eight year old human saying, "Where's my mummy?" Yeah, nah, they'll I'll come back panic. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, pull, I'll pull the red, the red tag. It? Girl, where do you think <laughs> you is ninety? She's buried, boy. Like seriously. Nah, I'm not telling the old woman her mum's dead. You can't say that. Oh, the mum is dead. Yeah. How Damn. old are you? I'm 25. Okay, girl, if yes. Listen, if that's who you want to be, who am I to tell you who yeah, you are? She could have been born on a leap year, innit? She could be 25. Girl, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she could be born two. on February 29th. That's a Honestly, two but I think one thing, again, I always take things, I always take every part of my life as a lesson. And I don't feel like that was a waste of time because one, again, it taught me to be adaptable because one thing I loved about that job was the stories. Like yeah, yeah, old yeah. people got some stories. The ones that are not dementia, they have some stories. <laughs> that are not dementia. <laughs> the lucid, the lucid Johns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like there's stories of some of them have been married for over like 40 years and they used to tell me about, you know, like working in the newspaper and how newspapers used to be printed oh, and sick. stuff. And people that were in wars, like they used to fight, the, they were fighting with Mad. Adolf Hitler. Like Mad. the man where they are. Like, and I always found it quite fascinating. I feel like, again, that just kind of helped me in terms of communication, like talking to mm. old people, talking to young people. And also just being hardworking. Cause yeah. when you're working in care, 12 hour shift on your feet, sometimes you Sometimes you have to hoist some big people. Nah, I'm not big, doing that. Like, honestly, like when I left care, I was hench. <laughs> because when you're, sorry, some of your grandmothers and granddads, they're big. Mm. And you have to be rolling them. How long did you do that man. for? How long did you do that for? I did that for about two years. <laughs> it did that, yeah, till I was about 20. That's a long time. Yeah, that's a long time. two years, yeah. Because it was an easy job. Like, honestly, I was like, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm. And you know, like when you go through like a job, application yeah you have to do the so much. It's screening a it's round a one yeah. round two. sometimes with care they don't even ask for your cv they say can you work yes oh, okay come on yeah. like, okay it's, yeah, it's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. that, that easy buck, yeah, it's makes that sense. quick That's like warehouse. Makes sense. you yeah, don't need yeah. to waste time as long as you yeah. had your dbs you were good so Fair. i didn't want to go through the process of this job and also i didn't know what i wanted to do i, mm. I had a i had a um crisis for majority of my life being yeah, okay. what do I want my life to be? Because okay. I, I did the first, I spent college doing acting, acting okay. didn't work out. And then I spent the rest of like four or five years confused. So I feel nice. like I'm going on a rant here. No, this is it. This is the story. I'm just talking about myself. This is the point. Your origin story, yeah. Yeah. Okay, So then we moved from care. You told me one time you did customer service as well, no? Yeah. In Northampton. Do you know what? I swear to gosh, listen, let me tell you something. Guys, any of the cult babies, if you work at Northampton Borough Council, yeah. I, I think my, my mom works for Northampton Borough Council. Northam if, if anybody yeah, yeah. works for Northampton Borough Council and they know a woman, yeah, in cool care called Stephanie, tell her I said she should suck her fucking mom. <laughs> tell her to suck, I swear. Tell her to suck her mom. <laughs> suck your mom, Stephanie. <laughs> what happened? You're Stephanie was actually one of my worst. She's like, literally, you know, there's people, yeah. And mm. you know what? Society needs them where they are so invested in the job, yeah. yeah. Jobs worthy, yeah. yeah. Like, but she would just used to do too much. So just before I started my show, I was working in Northampton Borough Council. Um, and I had this manager called Stephanie and my God, she just used to do too much. You know what this woman said to me? She said that I sounded too, obviously I used to like pick up the phones and, and speak to people and stuff. And she was like, oh, do you know what? Try not to be so like ghetto. Oh, she okay. said that. She said oh, okay. that to the point, she said that and obviously because us black people were so conditioned to no snitching, no snitching, no mm. snitching. I never called HR. And to be honest, I wish I fucking did. Yeah, I facts. wish I called HR, but yeah, I did that job and I absolutely hated it. Yeah. Again, I was traveling from Luton to Northampton. It took me an hour and a half every day to get to work. Wow. Um, and it was and it was during COVID times. So it was just, it was exhausted. And I think this is when I was just like, God, I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm tired of going through these jobs that I absolutely yeah. Yeah. hate. I'm tired of living a life with no purpose. I think my frustration was that I had so much energy yeah. and I had so much like 
to like, give to give you but know it was it. being directed into the wrong mm. things or wasn't being directed into something i enjoyed and i think that that was the frustration at that time and um <clears throat> i remember during that job during that time i got had got fired i said okay. to god i said god i want to work by myself i mm. want to i want to work by my i want to work for myself like mm. i don't want to do this and i got fired and i remember crying and i remember just like god just speaking to me and saying do you know what yeah okay now you work for yourself mm. and i'm like no i just got fired he said no now you work for yourself so what are you going to do with the time and i think um during during that time a couple months later is when i started the show okay um that's mad. Based on what? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Honestly, no one's gonna believe me, but I feel like God gave me the show. So this is the, this is the honest truth. I sat down one day and I was I, I remember the time I was in my bedroom, guys. I kid you not. I owed my landlord like two k. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At this time, I just I just been fired. I owe my landlord two k. I'm thinking, where the fuck am I gonna get money from? Like, I'm mm -hmm. so poor right now. Like poverty has caught me. Yeah. I did, I, I'm on universal credit. I don't yeah. know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, because it's COVID, the landlord couldn't come to my house. So mm. she was just on the phone. I said, okay, bitch, what you gonna do? I'm still here, yeah. bitch. Oh, what wow. she motherfucker gonna do? Yeah. And I remember sitting down in my room and for some reason I was just so reassured that everything was gonna be okay. Okay. And I remember, I haven't told the story, you know, funny enough. Um, and I remember one time I was sitting down and I was, and I just heard start a podcast. And I was like, a podcast. And I, I didn't make, I, I had never watched a podcast prior to this. Mm. Didn't know about podcasts. I was like, but I knew there was a round, but I wasn't like an avid podcast watcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When but, was this, 2020? Yeah, this was, yeah, tw this was like 2021. Okay. 20, no, yeah, 2020, 2021. Okay. This is not long ago. It wasn't long ago. Is, I mean, I'm, long ago. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Funny enough, actually, let me retract two years later. Prior. Two, two years prior, sorry. I actually wanted to start a podcast when I was in uni because I came to, I went to uni for one year, but for the one year, I remember I was making voice notes um, and I was like, okay, I want to do, I want to, I would just, I just to get used to myself talking because oh, I felt okay, I, okay, I was okay, always okay. very uncomfortable on camera and stuff. I never liked taking pictures of myself. I was just very awkward when the camera came on. Okay. So I'd sit in my room in uni and I'd make voice notes of myself talking about things, okay. dating mm. and stuff and just, just random. Just so you see how it, you would sound Yeah, just stuff? so you see how it would sound. Oh, like okay. that was like two years prior. So again, fast forward to, to the house that I owe money to. <laughs> And yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they were like, it, all I heard was start a podcast. And I said, okay, cool. So I started watching podcasts and I, I, I came across like 90s baby and mm. three shots and all, and all those people. And I was like, these people are really cool. I love this. Mm -hmm. And the show was really something to put my energy into. Okay. I never thought that it was going to be big, but I just thought I, I'm a creative at heart. Mm -hmm. I love to create things. So I think my energy was spent building the show, building the name, thinking of the name, thinking of the color scheme concept, where am I gonna have it? Like, you know, the whole yeah. the whole process. process yeah. I was more excited about the process yeah, of yeah, yeah, actually yeah. starting. Um, so yeah, within the first time I heard it, start a podcast, I, I spent about two weeks researching, two weeks putting everything together. Yeah. And then I just posted my first episode. And I remember my first episode, my guest's mic wasn't on. Oh my yeah, god. My, my to be fair, are, we've we've been there in there. Yeah, yeah we've had your first issues, ever episode, yeah. your guest mic is not on. But I'm somebody that constantly goes through chaos. That's why I'm always like chaotic, quick, mm. quick, because my life generally is that chaotic and yeah. I'm very used to stuff like that. So I was like, girl, just fucking put out. I wrote I used my I used my universal credit to pay for the studio time. Mm. I was like, you know, nice. okay, cool. I was like, fuck it, okay, wait, how much you get for universal credit? 200 and what, 250 pounds at the time when it was COVID, they bumped it up a bit, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. they bumped it up, they had a bit of change. So, yeah. And I, I think my, my thing was 150 pounds. My studio time was 150 pounds. Okay. So I had 250, 250 for the month. I used 150 for the studio time. Yeah. <clears throat> and that was it. I was, I was insane. I wanted to start something and I started it and yeah, that's that's where we are. Do you remember who your first guest was? My first guest was a very amazing gentleman called Carla De La Deepa and he was already in the space. Okay. So um, he was he was like, he's upcoming. He's a content creator, absolutely amazing, but he's also my friend. And I just kind of, I, I originally wanted to start it with somebody. Okay. okay. But I didn't have any friends. Okay. <laughs> yeah. One, I didn't have any friends, and two, I didn't have anyone that I knew I could rely on you to were in be London there every at this week. Point, right? 
No, oh. I was still in Luton. Okay. So I was dragging my I was dragging myself from Luton. I would jump the train to London every week, backwards and forwards. Oh. It was stu- so the studio spot was in London. Yeah, it was in London. It's still Mad. where I am. It's in London. Okay. I didn't have anyone that I could rely on yeah, to be like, oh, I want to do this. That makes you sense. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna give people the option. So. Even if, for example, I would spend four weeks with somebody, at least they would have the choice on the fifth to be like, Joyce, I can't do this. And then I'll have someone come in. Mm. That was the actual plan because, you know, it's difficult as you guys probably have experienced working with people to get people in week by week yeah, to yeah, be yeah, as yeah, dedicated yeah. as you, especially when you're first starting. Yeah. Now that the show's established, for people to come on, it's like, yeah, Joyce, I'll do it. But yeah. that's because the show's been built. Yeah, but yeah, when you're facts. starting something, to, for people to put money in and time in yeah. to not know where it's going yeah. is always hard. Yeah. But I think I kind of saw the vision and I would, I Let's just go. believed in it. Yeah. Let's go. I like that. So where did the where did the madam come into play? So <laughs> we are going back. We're yeah. going back to the wig, babe. <laughs> okay. When I was younger, so yeah. obviously Twitter was so before Instagram and stuff. Twitter was a proper community. Yeah, yeah. Guys, if you know, you know in it. Like you probably don't know because you weren't cool in it. But I've always been cool. Go so on. back in the day, Twitter was a community. Everybody's have at <laughs> names. So there was a girl called Paulina and I have to give it to her. She was Ghanaian. I was 16, she was 19. And um, when I was 16, people used to tell me I used to act a lot older than I was. So every time Paulina used to see me, she, she'd be like, Madame Joyce, Madame Joyce. Oh. So it just it just stuck. So one day I was looking for a Twitter name and I was like, oh, do you know what, Madame Joyce doesn't sound too bad. And I just put Madame Joyce and it just kind of stuck. So I think okay. when I came into the space, I might change it though, but when I came into the space, it was like, Madame yeah, Madame Joyce. Joyce feels right. It sounds it right sounds to me. Right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I think it's calm. I think it's bad. It's, I, I keep, feel like I it suits your name. personality. It suits yeah. Yeah, it actually does. Lot. Yeah, 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 it lands, it lands, it lands. A lot. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah. Oh, so that's, <laughs> so when did you, so obviously like you started the show, um, your, your bus in Universal Credit, when did you, cause now you do like show aside, now you do all sorts. So how did you start like diversifying into Ooh. other shit? So I started my show, I've, I've always been inspired by the personalities of the space. Um, I grew up with like Peak Mill, Nella Rose, Patricia Bright, who were YouTubers, Mm. Grace Agilore, YouTubers. And I kind of loved just how they were on camera and just kind of like performed and just brought something, brought something out of me Mm. as a viewer. And I think my show helped me be a better personality because like I said, I was very uncomfortable on camera, but I feel like I always say confidence is like an elastic bland. I was always very confident outside of being on camera, but I felt like as soon as the camera comes on, I had to be some, I had to pretend to be someone. And I felt like I was, when I started, I thought I was a bit too hood for YouTube. I said, I never Mm. wanted to do YouTube because I thought I was a bit too ghetto fabulous. And we were in a space where we had people like Wumi Bello, Adiola Patron, Naya Musa, who are very like, Classy, who were yeah, very yeah, yeah. like, hi guys, girly, who were very girly. And yeah. I just wasn't like that, yeah, yeah. nor did I have the skill to pretend. Yeah. <laughs> but I felt like when, <laughs> when I went on my show and I just allowed myself to be brass, yeah. it was like a safe space to me. And then being on camera allowed me to be myself. So I think the first thing that I ever did was a word on the curb Oh, dating rah. show. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you and really? I need to dig it up. Yeah. Oh, right. No, don't dig it up because I look a lot skinnier there. <laughs> and obviously, because I was hungry. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. So I did a one yeah. on the curb sh- dating show. Cause I knew I was like, I want to be, I want to be a personality. I want to be a performer. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't just want to be a podcaster. Mm. Um, Cause yeah, I want, don't want to be a podcaster. So I did the word on the curb thing and that blew up. That was mm. like, that did numbers, that did good things. So when people started seeing that, I then, and the thing is, I was putting myself out there. People weren't coming to me. I emailed Word on the Cub first. Mad. So I think I had maybe like 20K or 30K TikTokers at the time. And I was holding, I said, yes, hello, my name is Joyce. I've got 30K on TikTok and yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. you know, 
and I was putting myself forward this, and then I did BuzzFeed and I reached out to them. So I'm one of those people, yeah. I, I was so hungry. So yeah, I was literally active. going through LinkedIn. That's gang though. Like I was going through LinkedIn, yeah. And sending emails, finding like, who's the production manager of yeah. this? Or who's the agent for that? And <sighs> I was so emailing them. earned it, boy. I have yeah. time for stuff like that. Yeah. Grafted. Yeah, yeah. I got grafted. <laughs> Even the BuzzFeed thing, um, I knew I wanted to work with BuzzFeed because I saw them doing content. And I remember I was going through their YouTube and I saw the email. You see Ada, I love Ada, but Ada, Ada I, I never knew Ada at the time. Mm. And she was, she's the producer for a lot of the BuzzFeed stuff. And um, I saw that she put her email, that she put her name at the, she signed it at the bottom oh, of the okay, YouTube. Yeah. So then I emailed her and I was like, you know what, my name is Joyce, you know, I'm a content creator. I've done this, I've done, you know, I've, I've got this show on, uh, you know, YouTube and this. And she was like, yeah, you know, we've got a show with Victor Kunda that's coming up actually. We think you'd, you'd be great for it. So that was the first time I met Victor. Oh, sick. Yeah, so that's how Juicy. I met Juicy. This yeah, is why so, I love origin stories. Yeah, so, on, I met, that's when I met you Victor. Victor close. Yeah, yeah, me and yeah, Victor, that's yeah. my baby. But yeah. before, that's how me and Victor now started working together. The okay. first time we ever met each other was on set. Damn, um, shout out Victor. So I think I was just hung, I was just hungry those yeah. times. That I, I knew I wanted to make it, but I knew it also took work. and. Everything that I did was a case study for the next thing. So the word on the curve thing was a, I then took it to BuzzFeed to be like, this is what I did yeah, the word yeah, on the curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the numbers I had. How can we work together? When I did BuzzFeed, it then was Cadbury's. And then when I did Cadbury, and then every time I was just growing and nice. using the last thing as a portfolio to yeah, what I'd yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I feel like from like the, the show and Madam Joyce, work interchangeably. Yeah. yeah. So if Madam Joyce grows, the show grows. If the yeah. show grows, Madam <clears throat> Joyce grows. Yeah. So it didn't matter what who which guest I on if I did if I had a bigger guest that week or I did something big in the personality world. Yeah. They were both growing like simultaneously. Gang. Sexy. Gang. sexy. And here we are. Here we are. And here indeed. we are. Oh wow. shit and gigs. Her my mom made it. Her. <laughs> Mama I made it. Her. <laughs> Stop it. Right guys, let's take a very, 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 very quick break to spread the word about our friends over at Manscaped, okay? Zero. So this summer, <clears throat> let's remember, it's not all, always about the size of those cannonballs, it's about <laughs> making a splash let's go. with our friends at Manscaped. Prep the men in your life for barbecue season by making sure your special grill master mm -hmm. has the hottest dogs the summer's ever seen, blood clart. When they're at the cookout, let the meat speak for itself God. with Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. Let's go. It's time to get ready and not sweaty. Mm. So all you need to do is head on over to manscaped.com and use this very, very, very exclusive special code SNG. Sierra November Golf. And that's going to give you 20% off plus free shipping. So get on that now and we will get back to the episode. Thank you very much. Okay. That's wow, so that's very peng. Fair play. Yeah. Thank you for Fair. that. Thank Fair you. That was insightful. That was Thank very you. I actually love, I love stuff like that because like um, it gives you a better understanding of why the people have the personalities that they have Indeed. and like the things that they say, because like you can say stuff that is very true to you. But if I don't know where you're coming from, I'm just like, okay, big man, what are you on yeah. about? Yeah. Or I can be like, cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, like whatever. But once you understand where someone comes from and you understand like their experiences and what they've actually had to do to get to where they are, because you say, oh, I'm not gonna lie, you say audacious statements sometimes. <laughs> and I'm here for it because I love you and actually generally think you're very talented. But sometimes I think if anyone said that, I'll say, big man, <laughs> big man, sharp. sharp. <clears throat> But you think it low key in your heart. No, no, actually don't. No, no, because I actually do tell people to sharp, <laughs> and I've never told you to sharp. So um, no, I actually believe it, but now I believe it more mm. because like you're a you're a self. Because the shit that you have done, the, like being proactive and all that kind of stuff, I promise you, we wouldn't do it. Oh, 100 percent. Promise you, we wouldn't do it. No. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've made sure you've, you're in the right space now because you've done what you had to do to get in the yeah, right space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole like stay in your lane thing, you were just pre and You know when people are like at the airport and they're just pre in the shorter queue? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you were just jumping queues. Yeah, definitely. And then once you made it through security, you're looking back thinking, I don't understand why man is still in the same yeah, queue. Yeah, facts, facts. You should have been definitely. smarter like yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move yeah. smarter, jump queue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think stuff like that is very pain. I think what's, I think what is similar to us and what you guys do amazingly is that you create your own lane. I feel like in this industry, especially in the space we are, people will only support you to a certain point. Mm. And 
if people do not allow you a seat, you have to create a table. So I mm. feel like that's kind of what I had to do to navigate this space. Um, I I couldn't do it if I was waiting on somebody or for a for a pick me up or for yeah. come and help me, my sister, my black sister, my black brother. Like I couldn't do that. So it's one of those things where I say I started saying that loungest things, but it was something that I needed to do to get people's attention. Yeah, 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 nobody, yeah. nobody is coming into this space saying the things that are safe. Mm. Nobody's coming to this space saying the things that are everybody agrees with and you're not trying to pull up a few feathers. Yeah. When I came in, I made sure I'm coming to ruffle some feathers because I want everyone to turn around and be like, who Who's the fuck this? is yeah. this girl? Yeah. Yeah, 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 We've yeah, never yeah. seen her before. She's never been co-signed by anyone. Who is she? And I felt like that was why I had to be so audacious because okay. I wanted people to be angry enough to look in my direction. <laughs> I remember your name and remember the face. Yeah, and all exactly. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like, even if it's, oh yeah, it's that fucking girl that always opens her mouth and talks too much. Then so, <laughs> at least you remember, at least yeah. you remember me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair Because enough. people be talking, but no one's trying to hear, no one's trying to hear what they have to say. Nah, but I think you do a good job of like, me in the middle, like yeah, you're not rude well. to people. Yeah. yeah. And like, you don't say stuff like, you're not like, like a clickbait person. Yeah. Like you can say audacious stuff, but it comes from like Just a, bit a place of, yeah, a place of truth and a place of comedy and a place of like your personality, yeah. as opposed you. to just saying stuff that you're like, why would you even say, say that? that? Yeah. You don't ever say shit that's just like, well, who are you trying to be? Yeah. Like, why are you trying to like, you're not bait. It's never like, uh, like, why are you begging it? Yeah. Or just like, <laughs> why are you intentionally trying yeah, to be antagonistic yeah, 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 yeah. or anything yeah. like that? It's very just like, very on brand. You're very like, yeah, you're you're Thank tied you. together. Okay, it's, let's, it's Peng. Let's all lips now. Let's yeah. all. <laughs> <laughs> you're so we've just been rubbing each other's booties. Look, guys, we've spent the last like 40 yeah, just minutes rubbing rub each other's booties, rubbing <laughs> each other's just lips, lips and oh, my God. <laughs> All right, cool. So before we crack on, we've got some other stuff to do. But before, um, I've got a little thread that I wanted to read for oh, you. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So this one, based on your origin story, this one you will appreciate 100%. So this is a thread I saw yesterday. Okay. And <clears throat> the title of the thread is, what's one thing a broke woman always got? Oh, raw. <laughs> one thing a broke woman always got. Bro. Attitude. Fuck! This is the first one on there. Attitude. Yeah. First one, a problem. <laughs> first Facts. one, bro, a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cool, and let me, let, Joyce, let us know if any of these resonate, yeah? Okay. <laughs> these looting times. <laughs> Second one, long ass lashes. 25 millimeters. <laughs> okay, say the swear. Nah, but you're not broke anymore, but that's calm. Exactly, that's that risk. Right, <laughs> this one sweetened me. One thing a broke woman always got, time today. I've got She's time got to, time today, I've got bro. Time today, yeah, to yeah. Beef. Yeah. Time, oh, I thought you meant time to date. No, no, time, no, no. Today. time today, bro. I've got time today to beef. Period. You've got time today, okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. She's got Facts. time today. Facts. And time to date. <laughs> and Facts. time to date, fam. Yeah. That brings me on to the next one. <laughs> one thing, about, <laughs> this one, fam. One thing a broke woman always got someone else's man. Can you concur? I have never. <laughs> you never had someone else's man. You definitely had someone else's man. I've I actually had to check myself. Go on. No, I haven't, you know. No? I haven't. Not not knowingly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, knowingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair, 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 fair. Fair, <laughs> yeah. fair, 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 fair. Say less. Say less, say less, say less. <laughs> Bro! All right. One thing a broke woman always got, a cracked phone. Your phone stays cracked. My phone do stay cracked, you know. Your phone stays do, cracked. Do you case it? Do you know what? My insurance is my case. <laughs> wow. You live on the edge. Yeah, bro. You live on the edge. My insurance is my case. <laughs> what the fuck ever, man. <laughs> That's jokes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro. <laughs> One thing a broke woman always got, the audacity. Facts. Hundreds. Yes. That's where you got, that's how you got here. Yes. Yeah. That's how you landed here. You had the audacity. Yes. Yeah. I, me as a broke woman that was a 2K debt, yeah, would be telling other men, listen, you poor, don't speak to me. Rich <laughs> is only. If you're broke, just say so. <laughs> if you're broke, just say that. <laughs> oh, raw. Okay, this one isn't you then. Uh, one thing a broke woman always got, a broke is back. <laughs> What's, do you know what, yeah. Mm. That's actually true. I swear. Guys, you know I told you- You were sharing your universal credit. No, there was actually a guy, when I was working at the care home, I was dating the care home manager. Of course. 
But of course, <laughs> why? Just cause. Would, girl, do you know what? Yeah, honestly, when I was younger, I was very Zalulu. So I thought like, care Delulu. manager like- You just heard manager. I heard, man, I heard manager yes! and I said- Gas! Yes! Yes! You I just said, heard manager. Rich for the rest of my time. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I love dealing oh. with the rich I had manager. Oh my oh. days. I had manager. This time I was living in a one bed in Woolwich. Anyways. So wait, did do, do you coerce this relationship or did, were you actually attracted to this brother? No, do you know what? Honestly, I actually thought he had money. Like I heard manager. And I'm just, so again, it was just a money thing? No, I liked him, but he also, cause he was manager, I thought, oh yeah, you know, guys, I'm dating the boss. Yeah, daddy. Like I'm literal, dating the daddy. Literal, like, yeah. you know what I mean? oh, okay. <laughs> Tapped. Anyways, proceed. So you swear. <laughs> right, one thing a broke woman always got fresh nails. Do you know what? Yeah, really? I fucking hate this. Yes. I hate this a lot because honestly, this is how I carried my nails to the Barbie premiere and it, they're, they're just so awful. Just don't look at my nails. Yeah, that's because you're, that's because <laughs> yeah, you're rich be now. Fine. No, my nails is actually so... Do you know what? Because the time it takes, I love getting my nails done, but my schedule, the time it takes to do your nails, you have to at least have two hours out of a day mm. to yeah, do it. That's to be long. sitting down and... Yeah. and not doing anything. But well, you're booked and busy now, isn't it? So it's crazy. Yeah, but that's why my nails look like this. So that's calm. It is what it is, man. Don't judge me. It is what it is. It is what it is. You got the Louis V bag to distract. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. I'm going to still put my fingers in your mouth. Huh? Who hey, said that? yo. Huh? Hey, yo. Who said that? It's huh? a family show. <laughs> 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 All right, cool. Jeez. Right, a couple more. One thing a broke woman always got, the mm. tea. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> Nothing, I ain't got a problem. I'm just saying, they got As, the, you know apparently what? they got the tea. Okay, guys, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. Yeah. I'm still I'm still dressy from the block. <laughs> Used to have a little, but I got a lot. No matter where I go, I know where I came from and I always have the tea. All right, gang. Period. Fair play. Say you don't know that song. Do you not know that song? Jenny relaxed, from the block. Man. Come on. Oh. I knew from the first sentence. We Come didn't on. have, the, I didn't have, get the reaction that I was supposed oh, you to. Thought we, you, you thought, you thought we thought you were freestyling? No. Girl, shut up. What do you, <laughs> what do you think was happening? <laughs> Literally. I, I, listen, if, those, if, if I was in a room full of girls, that would have been like, yes. Oh yeah, sorry, you're in the wrong room. Yo, this is a wrong crowd. You're in the wrong yeah, room. Pop, wrong crowd, room. wrong yeah, cars, yeah, yeah, yeah. wrong yeah, yeah. genre. Ellis is, Ellis is giving yeah, me side eye right now. Women, <laughs> women, are, that, women are enablers. Yeah, facts. Ellis is women giving me side eye, he's like, girl, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> women, are enablers. women are enablers, they'll clap for anything. <laughs> anything <laughs> another woman does, they'll clap. <laughs> Words. <laughs> That's where my ego comes from. <laughs> it's like, yes, bitch. Literally. <laughs> no, anything a woman says with conviction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. if you say it with chest, yeah. it's like, everyone's clicking listen, and clapping. If he doesn't buy yeah. you sausage roll, yeah, yeah he's not your man. Yes. Who was that chick that was on Twitter um, talking about broke guys? She was like, he was. She was saying something along the lines of, um, if he can't do it, she can. She can. Do you remember? She was like a tracksuit. Wait, no. This is this oh. on Twitter. Is it the low vibrational meal lady? Yes. <laughs> Wait, when she was like, that food is low vibrational. I think, I think that it was That plate over there is low vibrational. I think it was her, but she was going on a rant for like a week or so. People were supporting her. A Jack week? Galley in her background in her of videos. Course, of, sprinkle, course, sprinkle? of course, of course, oh of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Sprinkle, sprinkle? It was mad. It was you mad. Don't sprinkle, sprinkle. You, sprinkle. you don't know about sprinkle, sprinkle. Not sprinkle, sprinkle. You don't know about sprinkle, sprinkle. What's that? Girls, if you if you if you know about sprinkle sprinkle, comment below. Ah, ah, <laughs> you don't know you about me sometimes. What's sprinkle sprinkle. You don't know about sprinkle sprinkle. Look at that. I don't know about sprinkle sprinkle. Whatever. Whatever man. I don't know about sprinkle sprinkle. What the fuck ever. Shut up. Y'all feel left out. Ow. Whatever, man. What's <laughs> calm? Right. One thing a broke a broke woman always got expensive yeah. taste buds. Oh, facts. Me. One hundred. Facts. Me. Yeah, I, I remember can see my, it. Let, let me tell you something. When I was 17, yeah. working in River Island for four pounds seventy three. Jesus. I went on a date. And let me tell you where I went for my first ever date. I went to a place in Vauxhall, yeah. I can't remember what the place was called. Oh yeah, Chino Latino. <laughs> it's called, it's in that. Vauxhall. It's in a Hilton Chino or something. Latino. That's a one of one. Latino. Guys, That's a one of one. Yeah, yeah, guys, yeah. I could have honestly had five pounds seventy three in my account. That guy took me to Chino Latino and it's the first time I ever had tempura lobster. Oh, and I only I bought it because lobster. I said it's the most expensive thing on the menu. That lobster was 113 pounds. Swear. And I bought, and I said, give me that lobster. And I got the lobster and I ate it and I took my five pounds back to Bedford. Fair play. 
Yes. Jesus. And I'm going to do it again. Fair play. Fair enough. All right, Celeste, I can't say nothing. Expensive taste buds. Facts. One thing a broke woman always got her two cents. True. Fair. True. <laughs> Fair. Got something to say about something. Fair. One last one. One thing a broke woman always got good pussy. Brother? Full hat? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Are you broke? You're not broke. You're rich oh, no, now. Sure. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, the monocro. I mean, sorry, I'm representing all the, I'm fro- representing all the broke bad bees. All the broke oh, bad bees. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, we've you, been there. If you I've bop to there. a things, you actually opens the door and it's still in pajamas and it's 3 p.m. Yeah. You know the clap's gonna be mad. <laughs> no, broke girls that wear pajamas, we wear our ex's boxers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's actually fact, the Nike ones. We well, wear extra stretchy. Boxes. Come off Halfway Excuse down me? the thigh. Yeah. Excuse me, uh, are you yeah. gonna still pull it down? Uh, yeah. yeah still pull it down. <laughs> They're lycra joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Let me yeah, pull it down yeah, my teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, <laughs> just tucks down the fupa. Ah, let's go. It comes high enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's high waisted. Yeah. <laughs> the Louis Bina off. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's jokes. That's funny, boy. <laughs> oh, God. All right, cool. Can so, we have another shot before we do the next you wanna one? You want to do another shot? Hell we'll do a shot. yeah. We're going to move on to the question part of the um, show. So the cult babies have asked some questions they, that you would like to answer. Okay. Um, but I will pass you the iPad and then you can answer the question. Read the questions out one by one and then answer them yourself, yeah? Hello, cult babies. One. My name is Madam Joyce and I am gonna be reading some of your very special questions and I'm really excited. She's moving like a CBeebies. She is. <laughs> right. I always see people attacking you for being your authentic self. How do you deal with that? Well, first of all, I like to imagine my haters in a basement. Oh my God. Alone, <laughs> poor, <laughs> on concrete. Poor on concrete? Yeah. No carpet. No, honestly, Just cold in basement. my mind, my haters are on a mattress <laughs> with yeah. no beds, Piss springs things. coming out, pee pee stains on an iPhone 4. No offense to anyone that has an iPhone 4, but please upgrade. Um, and I feel like sometimes you just have to accept when you're in the public eye, people reflect their insecurities onto you. True. And um, I feel like me being my authentic self allows the bad boys and girls, which are my supporters, to be their authentic selves. Because I feel like in a world full of people who are fake and scared to be 100% themselves and living their truth. I feel like it's important for me to show my truth so that other people can show their truth. So one is the bad boys and girls and two, because my haters live on piss stain mattresses in my mind. All right, and that makes people better. Okay, say less. So, would she be open to do it only fans for the right amount of money? Swear, it's a juicy question. Okay. You'd clap on only fans to be fair. Do you know what, yeah. I would love to be, if I was to do OnlyFans, yeah, I'd love to be a dominatrix. I can yeah, you like, pattern it. Yeah, you you would actually pattern it. I can see that like, I feel like, first of all, I proper love leather. That's the first thing. Like, I'm surprised I don't have my leather trousers on that food had love so much. <laughs> oh, um, yo! <laughs> why, why yeah. do you just say stuff? <laughs> you just say stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah, I'd be a dominatrix. <laughs> I mean, I've had one instance where I was a dominatrix and so somebody wanted me to step on him and stuff. And you, I wait, quite wait, liked Wait, wait, pause, the... pause. So you've been a dominatrix, did you say? I've had a dominatrix experience. Oh, talk us through that. So... Basically, I was seeing a guy yeah. and he wanted me to step on him. And Everywhere? Or? Like, like literally he was on the floor and I was stepping on him. And then he he, he told me that he wanted me to, to tell him to bark like a dog and and, and be on like... all fours around his house and stuff. Jeez, and I quite had, I, that was actually quite fun. And I also had very early on on my show, somebody asked me to send them voice notes of saying that their mum is a bitch and stuff. Right. Obviously, okay. I, I needed to pay for the studio time, so I did it. <laughs> So, right. <laughs> Question. So yeah. with this dominatrix stuff that you did with this person, this was it just the one time or was it yeah, like just a the period one time. of time? It was just the one time. So in this one time, did you find it? You said you, you found it interesting, but did it turn you on or did no, you just, I find, just it found it hilarious? I found I mm. listen, yeah, I've heard there are times um that like people who work as a dominatrix, like it doesn't turn them on in the slightest. Yeah. Okay. They just find it, it so empowering funny. and yeah. fun. Okay. I just thought I can't believe I'm fucking doing this, but I kind of found I found it more funny and I can't yeah. believe I'm doing this. Yeah. This is a guy you that, were seeing. Yes. And you banged him afterwards. No, we never banged, you, you know. 
Oh, interesting. Never banged you there. Very interesting. He did clean my house though and stuff. Oh, what the dear. fuck? Yeah. Is this, this is not manager brother, is it? Huh? This is not manager brother, is it? The From the care home. No, 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 that one, no. But yeah, I would, I think if I was to do OnlyFans, I'd be a mistress. Is that okay. what they call it? A yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they call it a madam. They actually there do you call go. it a madam. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. They call it a madam. You could literally be Madam Joyce on a wef. I would be Madam Joyce. Oh, you made bags. You would yes. make bags on a You made bags, Joyce. Who knows? Maybe that's my rebrand. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, don't be DMing me. Don't be naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> How do I get to be on your show? I have a lot to rant about. Please invite me. First of all, big up motherfucking you. I always love people who want to come on the show. Mm. I always say it's so important for me, have some content. People always want to come on the show because they feel like they're great chat, but it's very different to have a conversation in the kitchen with your friends yeah, or in the, in, yeah, in the, yeah, in the yeah. living room than to be on the show that has, you know, X amount of thousand people per week. So. Please make sure that you have some content to show me, even if you're not like a YouTuber, just have some talking, mm. something, yeah, do yeah, something yeah, yeah, first yeah. so I can see you. So yeah, I'm big up you. Hopefully I'll see you soon. That was very wholesome and cute, by the way. Mm. Fiona and I are very dismissive. <laughs> if, <laughs> if we got, if we got, if like, I got that question, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, next. He'll delete the whole thing. <laughs> no, because question. it's always nice. I, I always love when some people come up to me, be like, Joyce, it's my dream to come on the show and stuff. That's like, banging. And that's I love, and I really love that. Like, that's amazing. Mm. But please have some content. Don't just be like, can I come yeah, on the show? Um, and I'm yeah, like, it's sending yeah, me a yeah. video. It's like, nah, but I'm lit in real life. It's just like, girl, Get out of here, man. Be, yeah, be yeah, fucking yeah. for real. Sorry, Alice, for swearing. <laughs> Next question is, can I be your sugar baby, MJ? You know what? I keep saying this. I feel like when I hit a certain age, I will be a sugar mummy. Mm, you're gonna pattern a little young thing. Yeah. I swear to God. So I... what age range are we talking? Let's say, let's say now you're 40. Mm -hmm. What age range were you dabbling? 25, 26. It depends yeah, on how. Yeah, and you're just gonna pattern his lifestyle. I, honestly, I swear to God, I will. I feel like if I'm in, when I get to my 40s, 50s, 60s, if the marriage, the second marriage doesn't work <laughs> second out. Second marriage, she already knows. <laughs> if the second marriage doesn't work out. You're charging um, the whole game. I'm gonna be a sugar mummy. I, I have it in me because I love to spoil people. I love to spend money. Let's like, go. I feel like I would really look after my sugar baby boy. Like, seriously. I, I, I feel bet. like I would. I, yeah, I, I believe, believe it. Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> I would, I would, I would. So do you know what, yeah? I'm still young and bouncy to be a sugar mummy, but just ask me again in 15 years, innit? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see where I am in life. But Say honestly, less. It's in, it's in the cast for me to be a sugar mummy, 100%. Gang. I was about to say something, but I'm just not gonna say it. All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you wipe your butt with those nails, with your tongue? Aye, oh. fair. We're clapping right. back immediately. Immediately. That was clap reflexive. Back. That was. She's had that question yeah. before. Yeah. No, I haven't. That just kept with your tongue. And Jeez. you liked it. Ooh, All right. Celeste, 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 Celeste. He said, this is a family show, Joyce. No, 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 no. It's, it's actually not, but I'm just, yeah. He said, this is a family choice. What's your biggest insecurity? Ooh, vulnerable moment. What's my biggest insecurity? I would say I'm generally a very confident person. Sometimes being in this space where you are surrounded by itty bitty skinny girls. Sometimes I'm like, oh, do you know what? Yeah, maybe I just need to just lose a couple of pounds or maybe I just need to have a smaller waist. Or sometimes you do get into that space where you compare yourself to like the other people in the room. But then I just remember, I said, do you know what? Yeah, to be fair, yeah, like they might be skinny, but my ass is fat. Let's go. So, Facts. so Let's like go. sometimes it's give and take, like yeah, you're not yeah. gonna have everything. Yeah. And I feel like I, I love myself and I, re I represent so many other women that look like me and there's not much representations of the thicker girls, of the bigger girls in this space. So I don't mind being that, but I guess sometimes when I'm seeing, you know, small waists, small waist uh, cutie, I could be like, okay, cool. Maybe I can, you know, the six pack wouldn't be bad, isn't it? But sometimes small you just have to cutie. look at the positive. <laughs> you have to be positive. You're funny, man. Okay. What's the one thing you do in a marriage that others may find unconventional? <sighs> I feel like after a certain amount of time in a marriage, I would be okay with having boyfriends and girlfriends Swear. on the side. Yeah, that's a juicy take. I'm here. Yeah. 
Elaborate. I'm here for it. Yeah. I I'm here like for it. Surprising. Elaborate. I feel like obviously being married for 50, 60 years, like obviously like marriage essentially is, to, is supposed to be for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be with that one person for the rest of your life. And from what I heard about marriage, it gets to a point where it starts to feel like brother and sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like in the later stages of marriage, when you've been together for 30, 40 years, and as an individual woman, you're looking for a new excitement, I would have a little boyfriend on the side. Would you and be, if, a, and would this be discussed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you'd want I your feel, your yeah. significant other to have a little, a little thing. A, yeah, I feel like we can both have things. Like I said, I'm I'm in the cost to be a sugar mummy. So if that's in or out of marriage, then so be it. <laughs> I swear, that's yeah. an interesting take. Very interesting. I feel thing. like it's. I feel like I've, I'm coming to terms with with like society now and the way like m marriage is looking. Yeah. You know, there are so many factors that have changed like the how conventional marriage is compared to like being married in the 50s or the 60s i think i'm just kind of being adaptable to the times mm. just how like people go into marriages but they still like have threesomes and stuff like that like i think during later in my marriage i would want to be spicy and i wouldn't want to be want someone to make me feel sexy in my 50s and 60s i would get myself a little six pack 20 year old <laughs> Saucy daddy, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Making fair. me feel young again and shit. Fair, fair, fair. I right, peng, gang. Yeah. yeah. These are juicy questions, by the way. Yeah. Good curation. This is the gang. Thank it's you, gang. Babies. Thank you. How have you felt before and after your live show? So before my show, I was waking up every day with anxiety. Mm, I bet. My biggest fear Same, is public bro. disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's one thing embarrassing is <laughs> public disgrace. That's such a hilarious yeah, bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Falling flat on your face is actually in front of people <laughs> yeah. is my biggest fear. That's yeah. jokes. I woke up because I'm like, what if people don't come? What if, you know, it doesn't go to plan? People think it's shit. Like I had so many fears before the show yeah. that I was I was mentally and emotionally dealing with. Yeah, after the show, I was on top of the world. I kept thinking about Burner Boy, sitting on top of the world, <laughs> top of the world. That was my anthem, top of yeah. the world. I was on top of the world. I think it's one thing having a show on the internet. Yeah. I feel mm. like sometimes we don't compartmentalize. Yes, that's the word. Yeah. Compartmentalize. No, compartmentalize. Compartmentalize. <laughs> The amount of people and people and supporters that actually love us because we see the numbers and it's mm. like oh, a hundred k oh that's nice one point four million views on TikTok okay cute and we don't think that those are actual people human beings in it human yeah. beings I try to do that sometimes it gets to a point where it's like it's physically impossible it's physically yeah. impossible do you know what one point four million people looks like. In a together, no, together. Never. there's not a festival in the world like that, can, that, yeah. that, that, that 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 can do that yeah. exactly to then see people in a room. I don't know if you, you guys didn't see me as I came out, but when I came out, I screamed. We I saw you, because we saw you on the TV. You. I yeah, yeah. screamed because I could not believe the people in the yeah. room. And that was only 1,500 people. I was like, this is crazy that these people came on a Tuesday in a the Tuesday pouring fact. rain. In the rain, they yeah. got babysitters and all sorts. Coming yeah. out for me. Some people, some people came from Australia, That's mad. Canada, we love that. US to we come to that. the show. And I think when you start to see your supporters live O, <clears throat> yeah. you appreciate the people more. Because I sometimes be calling James, I'm like, James, everybody hates me. That's the reality. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they all hate me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think seeing the love in that room for me um, was incredible. And it really, I'm still on a high, but I think I'm just coming down now and I'm like, okay, what's next? But the, the last three days, Honestly, nobody could chat to me. I was Gang. so happy. I Gang. kept re reliving and rewatching the moments yeah, over yeah, and over yeah, again. Yeah, good. But that's the last one. No, Mike, I have a question for you. It was going to be Taylor yes, to that. You just said it. Um, what's next for Madam Joyce? What's next for Madam Joyce? Ooh, well, I'm going to be your neighbor soon. Cause I'm Facts. moving, my studio is gonna be here, so I'm gonna be looking at you as I actually had now. <laughs> well, we're not gonna be recording on the same day, so you won't. I'll make sure I record <laughs> next to you. But yeah, we're gonna. <coughs> I, I, I'm moving into into shits and gigs, Haiti, cult, cult HQ. What do you call this place? 
Just HQ is just fine. HQ. HQ. I'm moving into HQ next door. So that's that's amazing. I can't wait to have a set that's mine. And again, Dang. the creative process of building something is yeah. something I always love. I think yeah. that's why I started my show in yeah, the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, um, production wise, um, I've got something coming up. I'd love to do more. I think after this show, I really enjoyed putting my director hat on because it was self, it was self produced, self directed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I definitely want to do more of those projects. Okay. And yeah, just having a good time and enjoying every moment. Really, yeah. I feel like for me, as long as you have God and as long as you have confidence in yourself, just. Just enjoyed now enjoying the ride. I feel like when I first started, it was graft, fight yeah. for your life, fight for your life, fight yeah. for your life. Now I'm at a very comfortable place. I'm just actually taking in and registering mm. that life is beautiful. And mm. yes, it has its ups and downs. Yes, sometimes people call me fat bitch on the internet, but I have a great time doing what I do and waking Thanks. up loving what I in, enjoy doing. So right. that's what it is. Gang. 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 Right. Good, man. We've got a game for you. You may have been familiar with it from our show. It's called Finish the Lyrics. Yes. So um, you get a point for finishing, obviously finishing the lyrics. You get an extra point for the artist. You get a third point for the name of the song as well. Does that make sense? Okay, so what do I win if I win? Well, you just, you get a score. You get a score and at and the end, end, of, the end year, of the year, if you win overall, if then- If you win we'll, overall, we'll then we'll pattern you something. We'll What's this outfit? Uh, we'll talk. We'll pattern you something. the end of the year. Yeah. Are you going to pay for my breast? Your what? Your breast? Yeah. <sighs> How much is that? 7K. Seven? Yeah. Nah. I mean, that's if you win. You might not win. Yeah, you, might, you probably won't win. You probably won't win. What do so. you mean I probably what's won't your, win? What's your, I know, because I know you love uh, Afrobeats. I do. A little bit I'm a piano. I'm a PP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, 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 didn't, we didn't give you the easy stuff. We just curated. So what's your, of... oh, what's your general music knowledge like? I'm, I'm pretty good. All right, fair play. Gang. All right, so I've got, we've got seven in total, right? We've got seven songs in right, total. You go first so and I'll go. Wait, you go. So what's the highest score right now? Um, we've, we've only had only Taser. We've only had Taser do it. And what did he get? I can't remember. 19. 19, 19 points. There we go. It's a long time ago. 19 Nin points? Yeah. So the maximum points is what? 21 points? Uh, three, whatever three times seven is. 21 points. Okay. Are you sure he got 19 out of 21? He, I think he got 18 or seven, 18 or 19. Be wow. sure. I thought he was shit as well. I thought he got like 15, to be honest, <laughs> or something like that. We might have to but, re up. We might have been generous, you know, because he was ass. We can revisit, but I just watched the video. All right, we'll 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 <sighs> we'll, we'll curate the episode to make sure that he got the correct points you should deserve. But okay. we're not gonna go easy on you, yeah. You okay. go first, yeah. I'll go first. All right. So, like I said, you get one point for continuing the lyrics. You get one point for the artist, and you get a third and final point for the name of the song. Okay. You ready? Yes. You sure? Yeah. One hundred eaters will fit in an SUV. SOS. Somebody rescue me! I got too many, man. Too many. E Central C. Um, Dave Sprinter. Let's go. Gang. Right, I'm gonna say it in a British a British voice so that you don't get too many clues. Right, are you ready? You know I play this game all the time on my show, so. All right, gang, that's calm, good. Let's go. Why are you clapping back? I'm ready to, listen, right. you're gonna pay for my boobies. <clears throat> listen. <laughs> right. <sighs> Only been a few hours, but it feels like days. Only been a few hours, I feel like days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only a few days, but I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I need to do all of it? Been gone for a year, only wrote like once. And then I want you to say. That's not fucking fair. Yes, it is. You said said the next line. No, I said the next line. You cut me off. I wasn't finished. I was going to oh. say the whole three lines oh, and then I was going to give you the next line. Go on. You got eager and then decided to say my bit. Okay, sorry. Cool. Oops. Only been hours, I feel like days. Only been days, but I feel like months. Been gone for a year. Only wrote like once. This is the most famous bit. So if you don't know this bit, it's your business. <laughs> We do believe in the last of the few light days. We do believe in the last of the few light days. We got for years of a leave. And yeah. the only one. Life moves fast when, when you, you do what, what you, you want. want. Life moves fast when you do what you want. Right. Name of the song and the artist. You might get this. Brett Fires. Yeah. One point for Joyce, please, guys. No, two. I got the lyrics right. You did not get the lyrics right. What's the song called? Only one. Jackie Brown. Did it's, I get it? No, it's called, he it's, literally just said I literally said just Jackie said Jackie Brown. Brown. And you said only one. I just, I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just guessed the lyric. <laughs> All right, gang, right. next up, Fwigs. All right, okay. you ready? Yes. Uh, come here, wait till they worry you. 
Come here, wait till they worry you. Green you body make karaoke. Show me you kiss that yardy. <laughs> I must make a bro. I make your body more than your papa. Um, grandma charm. Let's go. Gang, fair play. Oh. Fair play, fair play, fair play, fair play. Fair play. Let's go. Another singing. three points. Is anyone collecting this, this yeah, yeah. to you. Rem's got it, right? She's got seven. Right, this is easy. I'm going to say two words, and you're, yeah, if you can't pattern it, that's your business. I was about to start singing to you. All right, you ready? <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Let me Sorry. concentrate. Sorry. Oops. You're 22. This is easy. You're 22. You're 22. Too hot to handle. Why I wanna handle you? Yeah. <laughs> Why <I> you? <laughs> right. Song and J O twenty two. All right, gang. Another three go. points for Joyce. Well played. Let's well played. Go. I'm doing my best. Yeah, guys. you're doing well. I'm not Thank gonna lie. Thank well, you. You said this before, so I'm really jarred. But I had this on here anyway. All right. I'm just trying to be me. I'm just trying to be me. Yeah. All right. I'll sing it in the actual thingy. I'm just trying to be me. Oh, maybe not. I'm lost myself. I'm bro. just trying to be me, do what I gotta do. Some people think that I'm sitting on top of the world. Is that it? It is, but I can't give you that. Why? It's mad because it's the Burner Boy version. Wait, let me finish. No, nah, yeah. nah, you were singing the. No, you know no, you on, were singing on, the. Is guys. it Brandy or Monica? You know you were guys, singing that version. Hold on. I know you were singing hold that version. Hold on. Nah. To be fair, in her defense, Earlier today, she said the Burner Boy version. Hold on. That's the reason why I thought she'd get if it. If you know, guys, that's how you know. There's, you're the issue here. Oh, right. If If somebody sampled a song and I sang the original version. I'm with Joyce in this one. Should I still get the point for the original I'm, version? I'm with Joyce in this one. It's not her fault. If you sang verbatim lyrics from the original, it's not her fault if she continues the song of the original. Thank you. You sung the original song from the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's not Monica, actually. It's Brandy. So can I, I said have Monica a or Brandy. I said I couldn't remember which one. It's Brandy sitting on top of the artists. world. No, because I which did the Burner Boy, Boy version. Took it's a sample. remix. Mm, I'm with Joyce on this one. I think, what's the name of the song and the title? It's Sitting on Top of the World by Brandy. That is the original version of the right. Burner we'll Boy it, I, I'm, song. I'm gonna, I'm gonna override Fwags on this one and give it, I don't think it's fair. <laughs> so I don't think it's fair. Fair enough. It it's is okay, fair. Okay, Daddy. Man, you it, you it is fair. It is fair. I said it's fair. Oh, no, no. Okay, cool. So I thought you were saying, no, 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 ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. Right. Oops. <laughs> right, last, this is the last one, right? Oh, you really? got one more. I've got one You got one more. Okay. So right. seven in total. <clears throat> Last time I saw you, we ain't speak. That was strange. Guess there's nothing I can do. Man, it's true. I don't even know. Wait, what? <laughs> right, let me say it verbatim. Last time yeah? I saw you. Last time I saw you, we ain't speak. That was strange. Guess there's nothing I can do. Man, it's true. Oh, I'm with you. X has changed. Hey! Let's go. X has changed for the better. All right. What's it, what's it called? Song, artist. Drake. No. Wow. wow. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. Bryson she said Drake. Tiller. She said Drake. No, no, she said Drake. No, no, no. She said Drake. She said Drake. Bryson Tiller. This what happened when I think about you. I can say, da, 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 da. Oh, just exchange. All right. Exchange. Oh Fair. my God, that was in my Fair, soul. Fair, you bastard. Drake with chess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last but not least. <laughs> this this should be easy. I'm livid. All right. Are you sure? Do you, do you want 10 seconds to change it? No, no, no. I'm keeping it the same. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> Give me beso, mwah. Give me beso, extendo. I carry bitches like a prego. Bat, 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 bat. All right, say less. Glor I oh no, it's not Glorilla. No, it's not. It's Glorilla. not. Wait, wait. What's this small girl? Lola. I'm sure it's Lola Rose. Lola. Oh, that's going to bug me. Give me beso. Expect no, I carry bitches like a prego. Don't play, don't play with it. Lola Rose, I'm sure it's Lola Rose. Two points, it's Lola Brooke. Let's go. <laughs> well I needed you to get one wrong. That was solid. What's what's the what's the score? It's Lola Brooke. Thinks like a young seventeen. It's eighteen. 18. I promise you now she beat Taser. She we did, need to yeah. collate this thing. Taser right. didn't get back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I fine. promise you now she beat him. The edit says that the calculations was wrong. It was 19 in total. 19 in total. For, and she got 18 Taser. out of 21. Let me, let me. We must have dashed Taser some points. Yeah, nah. we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, exam we're gonna examine it. Because the feel I'm getting yeah, yeah, yeah. is like that you, you smashed it. You yeah, smashed yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll see, that was banging. But anyway, 
Uh, Joyce, thank you very much for uh, joining us today. Thank you. For this was a long me. episode. It was a long episode. And it was a good one. It was. It was um, a good one. I was going to say before we like sign off and everything, just let everyone know where they can catch you, where they can find you, what's your app, what's your social, <laughs> all of them things, Dessa. And yes, your subscribership's so- going to double. <laughs> That's cute. Do you know what? Yeah, guys, can I just say cult babies? Yeah. Why are you reaching to our people? <sighs> Shits and gigs have been laughing at me because I haven't hit 100k yet. <laughs> Who so said I would that? Love to, yes, they were, they've been that? bullying me and laughing at oh me because I haven't day. hit 100k. So I'd love to hit 100k. So if you go to Cocktails and Takeaways, yes, which is well. under Madam Joyce on YouTube, you will find our show there. So after this one, go Cocktails and Takeaways and have some fun there and listen to the podcast. And Instagram, I am Madam Joyce with an E. On TikTok, I am Madam Joyce with an E. Or maybe you'll find me on Early Fans doing Dominatrix. E, come on. All right, gang. Come Guys, on. thank you very much. Love, love, love. Gang, gang.